Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. This is Real Magic Review and this is the Oracle System by Ben Seidman. Before we carry on, can you please like, subscribe and check out cardmagiccourse.com. That's what sponsors this whole thing and that's quite handy because it's mine. There's my online card magic course of over two, 400 videos. I keep saying 200 and keep adding to it because I do add to it every month. Um, I've just finished a course on the Pharaoh Shuffle, which is an in-depth look at how to start from nothing, the grip right up to um, how to get that weave every time, which is quite handy because uh, only about three, four months ago did I start getting it consistent, so that learning's still fresh with me. So there's a course on the Pharaoh Shuffle there. You get all the courses of Card Magic Course for your monthly fee, and it's a very, very modest one at that. So check out cardmagiccourse.com and learn from a professional. That's me. So this is the latest release from Ben Seidman, who I saw at the session in January. Uh, he's a consultant, he's a magician clearly, he's an actor, he's a comic. Uh, he, has, he consulted on Mind Freak, I think. He was a resident magician in Vegas for a long time and he's a regular at the Magic Castle. So he knows his stuff and he's been doing this a long time. In fact, this is his first release for 12 years. And he says in the in the video that he, he hasn't released anything for so long because he was waiting to release something. I don't, I don't mean he's sitting there waiting with nothing to do, clearly. <laughs> he's been very busy. Um, but he's, he, he didn't want to release anything that, wasn't, that didn't mean a lot to him. And that could be hyperbole, couldn't it? We hear that kind of a lot. I, I wanted to wait to release something really special and sometimes that means that people just didn't have anything to release. And sometimes that statement isn't really backed up by uh, the product and the effect. Uh, but in this case, is it? Is it just hyperbole? Well, I, I, there is always a feeling at the moment of people that are usually very busy doing stuff that aren't very busy doing stuff, releasing stuff for lockdown. And this isn't the case. I know that because in the session he did show this this routine, which I like very much. And he mentioned, it. I think if I remember rightly, he had a version of it for sale then and said it was going to be uh, get an official release at some point. I think it was a PDF, maybe with the cards. I'm not sure. Um, and then it was it was a long time and I'd kind of forgotten about it, not because I'd forgotten about it because I didn't like it. I just, you know, lots of stuff's happened, hasn't it, to take a mind on different things. So when it popped up, I was like, oh, right, I remember that. So the effect is, well, it's based on a card trick. It's based on a, I thought it was, I remember many years ago seeing, I think on one of the early Darren Brown Specials. I might. I'm not specials. The 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 uh, trick, tricks of the mind. Tricks of the mind. Tricks of the mind. Um, uh, way 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 back. Uh, seeing a, a trick with VSP because it might be a false memory. But um, and then there was a Larry Becker effect that I found with VSP cards, which I loved. And and I um, and it was the same trick. I think I don't know if it's the same method, but the same idea of you put a card down face down. They put a card down face down. So you're always going first. Then you turn them over and they match. Um, which I was always really impressed by. I love the simplicity of the plot. I love the fact that it, it, there seems to be nowhere to backtrack on it. You know, you're putting them all face down, you're doing first and you get them right. I love that revelation at the end. It always gets a strong, uh, a strong response. And obviously you, you reiterate that you've put them down first. So, and I, I, so I, I looked for it for a long time. I found it in the, the Larry Becker book. In one of his books, uh, he's got a, now what is it called? I've got it written down. It, it's S. Espitomy, <laughs> that's it. Es Sorry, I, just, I sat for ages there. I have to cut that because I couldn't think. It, it, it's like epitome, but ESP. It's probably said ESP itomy, or but espitomy sounds wrong, doesn't it, for some reason? But anyway, um, so that's where I found it, and, and I did actually do it for a bit. So this is the version of that effect. Uh, well, again, that's doing it a disservice. The effect is that you put a card down, they put a card down. It's done with tarot cards. Um, so you've got the brother John Hammond. Um, uh, effect with cards and then it's taken into ESP and he, he talks a lot about Homer Arcana as well which ha who has a book on using the 10 ESP, ESP, ESP cards and this is version of this in there uh, and he credits loads and loads of crediting in this but he he's taken it to into tarot and 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 this adds a lot I think not only does it add the beauty of the props but it adds this whole thing around it which is what this is really about. So we'll talk about that in a bit, but I'll just take you through what you get. Obviously, it's nicely, you know, it's vanishing ink. It comes in a nice box, uh, whatever, but this is the important thing. And this is more important than you think. Yes, it's very beautiful, um, but it, it looks like what it should be. 
these are tarot cards and a lot of people keep tarot cards in a bag don't they which is nice it's the cards are in a bag they're not in this deck of cards thing but this comes in and it's kind of has it looks like it has meaning so you bring this out and you're in you know he he did a youtube video i think it was yesterday with um colin mcleod about making magic meaningful and this looks straight away like it has meaning because this is a routine that has meaning which is what elevates it from this card trick this or this even this esp trick you open this up and it's got the two packs of, of tarot. Now, again, they're very beautiful. And tarot cards are, you know, Luke, Luke Germay on the download and Ben talk about the, what happens when you bring tarot cards out. And, and, and something does. There, there are, there's a mystery about them. But these, he's, he's recolored them. So they, they take the rider weight design, which is the classic design we see most, is the, the most classic design, and, and he's recolored them so they really pop. So basically when you put them down you know exactly what one's watch. You know, you know, the devil is is clear the colours are clear there, the picture's clear, it pops off the table. Um, interestingly what he's also done is there's a devil card in there and if you want you can swap that out for another one. If you've got people that are a little bit more sensitive to that kind of thing, whether it's a spiritual belief or things like that, so so and that's the level of thought into this. You know, most people wouldn't have bothered. And it's like, okay, there's your card, but you can there's a, there's a kind of you can customize this a little bit to your audience. The back design apparently is a back that you would get on tarot cards. So again, it doesn't look like a deck of cards. Um, there is there's no border or things like that, which is really really important on the backs. So so it's a lovely set. You know, you're going to be very very happy with this as I was. So the routine itself, as I've explained the actual magic tricks, and then you've got this whole thing on top of that. And what happens is, and this is a really good opportunity to work on your reading skills, on creating that connection, on your communication skills, all that stuff from the safety net of a magic trick. And this is important because there are lots of ways we can do this. There are lots of tricks where obviously we're doing a trick and then we can try a load of stuff out. And if we don't get it wrong, the trick works anyway, great. But the thing about this is the trick that you're doing that you're going to end up, and it kind of belittles it because it doesn't feel like a trick, it feels like an experience. But the, the, the magic part of it that makes them go, whoa, at the end, is congruent with all of the reading stuff that you're doing, all the things you're doing to, to add presentation onto this. And by what, what I mean by that is that, you know, you're not doing something like, okay, I'm doing all this stuff and I'm gonna, I'm gonna create this experience. And if that doesn't go right, I'm gonna get a balloon out and make a wine bottle come out of it. That's good in the right context, but it's not like, oh, forget about that, here's a great trick. It's like, this is, if that, if that does, isn't 100%, 100%, which it never is and it's not even supposed to be, then you've got this thing that feels like it just flows and that was there for the reason anyway. So, you, so you're, you're always going to create that connection and the cr connection is with the communication but also with the effect at the end. So I think that's quite a rare thing, you this congruence and this flow of whatever happens, you've got something that feels like that was always how it was going to be. And this is genuinely a system. And when it said the Oracle system, sometimes the system sounds good, doesn't it? So it feels like, oh, I'm going to learn all this stuff and I'm going to be able to use it. This is a system. This is something you can use in various ways. And on the download, he even has a couple of tricks you can do with this that aren't, that, that feel very different. Um, and talking about the download, this is important. When I saw the download, I pressed, you know, I turned it on and just went, oh, two hours, 50 minutes, or whatever it is, over two hours. And whenever I see that, I go, oh, really? Do I have to sit there with my laptop for two hours? And I sat there for longer than two hours because I kept pausing it, going back, listening, learning. This is gold, this download. And I think it could have been released as a download on its own because you've got Ben talking about the, obviously the effect and what you get and why you get it and the choices that they've made, which were all really interesting. But then he goes into detail about how to do this tree, but not just do this and then this. It's like why you would do it. And I've said this before when I, I like downloads that go into this will work because of this. And if you do this, that's great. He also goes into the moves that you're going to need and in detail. Now he does this with a, a, a slight. There is one slight you can do at some point, but there are alternatives to that. One from Spidey, uh, one from uh, Bob Kohler. I think that, that take this and, and simplify it, but it, I don't think it, it makes it any worse. I think it's just a choice thing. I think the, the Bob Kohler and the Spidey thing are just as good and actually they don't need any sleight of hand. So I think you're gonna be completely okay. You're gonna to wanna to feel comfortable with the cards and you're gonna to wanna to handle them, but, but I think most people are gonna be able to do this off the bat. There is work put in these cards, which I think is some of the best I've seen. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, Skill-wise, you're just gonna to have to remember a routine uh, which you should anyway know that off by heart and you're gonna to have to spend some time with certain things Which you should anyway when you learn something if you're if you're serious about performing this stuff 
and it is a serious routine. I don't mean that, and it isn't, hasn't got levity, but it's serious as in it's something that's gonna, gonna can uh, uh, have the potential to be quite powerful. Um, and you know, if you're worried about memory work, things like that, there is a little bit to remember, a little bit, and I say maybe a little bit to remember. And um, Ben takes you through a, a mnemonic, which is one of the rare times someone's taken me through a very simple mnemonic, a way of remembering five things, where I was straight away I used that one that he said, the exact thing that he said, and it made complete sense. And he says some people worry that when they look at this, it's going to take them a while. It really isn't. It's, I think it's just, it's so intuitive and it makes complete sense. And I think you're not going to have any problems. So that's the thing that people worry about. Am I going to have to remember loads of stuff? There's not that many people. Yes, if you've got certain conditions, if you've got, if you struggle with short-term memory, long-term memory, things like that, you will, you, you may have problems. Um, but most people, I think, are going to be able to pick this up and be able to do something with it quickly. And then uh, it's like chess, you know, you can play chess really quickly. You just got to learn the moves, but the more time you spend at it, the, the, the more in depth there's, there's complexity around the simplicity. Uh, and I think this, this, this has got the potential to be so wonderful. Practicality wise, uh, it's better with a table. It's going to be nice if you can sit opposite someone and they are the sitter and you're doing the, 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 the reading and the, and the trick to them. But he does go through ways of doing this walkabout, which I think would work really well as well. Not quite as well, but well and he's got a way of doing it on stage uh, using wine glasses and he takes you through that in detail as well so you've got you've got a, you have got um a variety that there of ways of doing it but i think you are going to really want to try and do this sitting with people and people are you know going to think well i can't do that at the moment no i can't but what you can do is you can work on it and, and and you can prepare and sit there with the cards and get familiar so when you are in the situation with family with friends or in a professional sit setting uh, you can get these out and do something again I'm, I, I sat with my son last night and i will say even though there's no footage of me performing it because i really can't at the moment um, I have spent a lot of time with these. I did get them early. I've spent a lot of time. I can do the routine. I sat with my son, who is someone that will just tell me straight away, you know, whatever. He was like, I just don't get it. And that was really with not much of the reading stuff going on, but I did a tiny bit of it and that completely floored him. So it, it, it sounds like a ridiculous thing to say, but it's a good litmus test for me because he he's had enough of it all <laughs> so so uh so i've got no 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 doubt whatsoever that that this is going to be um uh, going to be for me i'm going to carry this around this is going to go straight in my professional set there is no doubt i'm going to do it on stage uh, i genuinely think it's one of the best things i've had in my hand from a magic dealer for a long long time this is uh, it's it's going to you have to come out with a, a lot to top this because i just think there is so much in it you know, with the download, with the props, with the, the routine itself, with the potential. Um, it's really opening up and it's again something that's drawing me more toward, towards creating meaning with my magic. And I think that it's something that will, re when you get this and you start getting into it, I'll be very surprised if anybody's disappointed. So there is, uh, I, I think this is brilliant, as I've just said. Uh, I'd love to know your thoughts. Remember that um, we every Thursday at 5.30, or sometimes it might be about 5.15, I do a comments on comments live, where if you comment below uh, your experiences or any questions at all, there's bound to be stuff that I've missed out here, uh, I will answer those comments or, or many of those comments live on Thursday evenings, UK time that is. So thank you very much. Uh, please like, subscribe, check out Card Magic Course. Remember to get involved and have a great one. Stay safe, be kind to each other. Take care. Bye-bye.